The Instagram algorithm has recently changed and if you've been seeing a decrease in the amount of reach that you're getting, it's probably not your fault. It's probably just that you haven't been adapting to the latest Instagram algorithm. For example, Instagram now favors a different type of engagement. They also favor different types of posts and there are two other changes you need to be aware of because one of them could literally increase the amount of engagement that you're getting by 5x from where it is right now. So take whatever amount of engagement and literally increase that by five and one of the changes I share with you later on in the video could actually cause that. In fact, this creator just implemented that all three changes went from struggling to grow to gaining over 100,000 followers in just a 30 day period. And this creator was able to do the same thing except they gained over 50,000 followers. And the same exact thing can happen to you so long as you adapt to Instagram's latest algorithm. Change number one is that you need to adjust the actual type of content that you're creating on Instagram because Instagram is now favoring different types of content depending on where that content's actually showing up. So if you're trying to get on the explore page or you're trying to just get on somebody's home feed, the best post to be able to do that is going to be a carousel post, but not just any carousel post. Instead, the first part of the carousel should be an infographic like this one right here or a meme like this one right here. And then when you swipe, you should just see a video. You shouldn't see a bunch of different photos. Instead, it should just be that meme or infographic plus a video and this is going to skyrocket the amount of engagement that you're getting because these are showing on the explore page like crazy and they're showing on the home page like crazy because it's keeping people on the home page but that's not it the second type of post you should be doing is a reel but a reel in a very specific way you shouldn't only be posting your reels to the reels feed you need to be posting them to both feeds because it's going to massively increase the amount of views and the amount of engagement that you're getting but that's not the only change that you need to make because you also need to change the type of engagement that you're getting right now. If we were to go back just a few months, Instagram really cared about how many likes you got or how many people you got to save your content, but that couldn't be further from the truth anymore. Now, Instagram is prioritizing three different types of engagement. The first one is going to be shares. You need to be aiming for 50 to 75% of people that actually watch your piece of content to share your content. If you're able to hit this, it's going to make your post go viral. And the reason that Instagram is doing this is because they understand that when people share posts, it gets people to come back to Instagram and spend more time on Instagram, which is exactly why they're pushing out posts to get this to happen. The second type of engagement you need to be getting is people completing your video. The easiest way for you to do this is to manipulate the length of your video and make it shorter. I see way too many creators right now, especially small creators or bigger creators that have seen a decrease in reach, try to make their content much longer. You shouldn't be doing that. And remember, your Instagram post should never be less than five seconds. In fact, if you're doing that, it could be one of the reasons you're seeing a decrease in reach or you might might not be getting enough people to actually comment on your post because getting people to comment is going to get them spending more time in the comment section and it's going to help skyrocket the amount of reach you're getting. In fact, if you could get people to spend more time in the comment section, guess what ends up happening? The video is looping in the background and your piece of content actually doesn't have to be that good because it's got people in the comment section or it's got people in the description and they're not actually paying attention to the video. In fact, I bet the majority of posts that you see right now going viral on Instagram have implemented this. And for sure, what those viral posts are not doing is telling you to go to the link in the bio because if you ask people to go to the link in your bio on your post, it's destroying the amount of reach that you're getting. In fact, posts that ask people to go to the link in the bio on average get 57% less views and less engagement than posts that don't ask for that. So if you want to five times the amount of engagement that you're getting on Instagram right now, instead of telling people to go to the link in the bio, you need to be taking advantage of comment to DM automation. That way, you'll have your viewers actually comment a keyword, which increases the amount of engagement that you get, and then automatically, they're gonna be DM'd a link. And this does two things. It's going to skyrocket the amount of engagement that you're getting, and it's going to skyrocket the amount of people that actually go to that link, because it's way more effective than telling people to go to the link in your bio. Lucky for you, today's video sponsor, ManyChat, makes this possible, and they're a meta-approved app, so you don't have to worry about whether or not Instagram wants you to be using their app. And it's going to lead to a 5X increase in the amount of engagement that you're getting. If you go to the pinned comment below, you can register for free, or you could get a 30-day free trial for ManyChat Pro, which has three core features that are not only going to increase the amount of engagement that you get, but they're also going to help you make more money on Instagram. Many chat users are able to increase the amount of engagement that they get because instead of telling people to go to the link in the bio or something like that, you tell them to comment below and then ManyChat is going to automatically send them a DM with a link or whatever else you were telling people they were gonna get from the video. On top of that, ManyChat makes it way easier for you to actually start a conversation with your audience because now when they go to their profile, there are going to be several different prompts that they can click on to start the conversation. 
And best of all, ManyChat's going to increase the amount of money that you actually make from Instagram for two reasons. One, it's not going to lead to you telling people to go to the link in your bio, which is going to decrease the amount of revenue that you get and the amount of views that you get. But also, when they DM the link to somebody, it actually drastically increases the odds that they end up clicking on that link and going to your website. So essentially what ManyChat's gonna do is help you automate the sales process because they'll be DMing people for you. And since ManyChat is actually a meta-approved app, you know that all the engagement that you're getting is real. It's from your real fans, it's from your real viewers, and this is gonna lead to Instagram pushing out your content even more because they see a massive increase in the amount of engagement you're getting. What are you waiting for? If you want a five times the amount of engagement that you're getting or make more revenue from Instagram, go to the pinned comment below and start your free trial today. The next change that you need to make sure that you're implementing is you need to make sure that you're changing the color of the text that you're actually putting on the screen. There are only two colors that are getting a lot of reach right now. The first one is going to be white and black text, and the second is going to be white and yellow or black and yellow. For example, all the text that I have on the screen right now is great. It's text that really works well, really captures people's attention because it's a lot of contrast. Even if you have it up against a white background, it looks totally fine. A mistake that I see way too many creators making on Instagram right now is they're choosing text that has no contrast with the background and as a result, it confuses the viewer, they swipe away, it tanks the amount of average reiteration you get, or the amount of people that complete your video, or even the amount of people that end up engaging on the video, and then guess what happens? Instagram doesn't wanna push out your content simply because not the video you made was bad, not the topic that you chose was bad, but just because you chose the wrong color text on the screen. So please, make sure you are only using text on the screen that fits those three criteria. But we can't stop there because I need to make sure that you're actually creating content that's on the right topic because if you go ahead right now and implement everything else that I shared with you but skip these next two steps, it's going to lead to a massive decrease in the amount of views that you get because the next thing I share will also be whether or not your hashtags that you're currently using are banned on Instagram. And if they are, it's going to tank the amount of views that you're getting. But when it comes to the topic that you're choosing, you need to choose wisely. Essentially what Instagram is trying to do is push out topics that they know are going to have people interested. I know, it might sound counterintuitive and it might sound boring but there are a few different ways that you can take advantage of things that have already been successful before on Instagram. So when you're coming up with video ideas, you shouldn't just come up with things randomly. Instead, what you should be doing is modeling your content after something that's been successful before. And there are three ways that you could do this. First, you can literally repost one of your older posts on Instagram. If you've had a post that has done well, go ahead, download it, repost it without the Instagram watermark, but go ahead and change the description and change the hashtags. Or you can look at your competitors' accounts and see what kind of content they're creating and you can create a video on the same subject. Now, no, you shouldn't create the same video word for word, but you should be paying attention to the topic that they choose and the hook that they use and also the length of the piece of content. You don't wanna go ahead and create a piece of content on the same topic, but make the video three times as long or three times as short because Instagram is going to be classifying the length of the video plus the topic of the video and that's going to lead to whether or not the video gets pushed out. So you might think that you're creating content just like your competitors, but your video is half as long and that is why Instagram isn't pushing it out. Or the third thing that you could do is try to rank for search on Instagram. And this is actually my favorite thing with the current Instagram algorithm because when you go to search for something on Instagram, you're gonna see different trends there and these trends are things that Instagram's actively trying to push out and on top of that, it's a clear indicator that people are actually interested in that piece of content. By ignoring that, you're literally ignoring the suggestions that Instagram is trying to give you about how to go viral right now. Now, when it comes to the hashtags you're using, we need to be sure of two things. One, that you're using the three best hashtag strategies that are working right now on Instagram with this current algorithm. But secondly, I need to make sure that you're not using any banned hashtags. Lucky for you, this video right here is gonna tell you exactly about those three strategies and a website that's gonna show you whether or not the hashtags you're using are banned. What are you waiting for? Watch this video right here.